In this video, I'm going to show you how we can capture Ethereum event in VueDAP. And for that, we're going to keep using the Drizzle View plugin that I showed you in the two previous videos of this series. At the end of the tutorial, you will know how to capture an event using Drizzle and Vue, and you will be able to do some cool stuff like this, showing a pop-up when an event is captured. By the way, this video is provided by Idoblox Pro, my screencast for Ethereum DApp developer. If you want to access the source code of all the other tutorials of Idoblox Pro, go to the website and click on Enroll Now in order to create a free account. And I'll send you a link to the Git repo of Idoblox. Alright, so I'm going to go to my terminal and copy over some boilerplate code from the Git repo of Idoblox. So this is in the screencast folder in 14 drizzle view dap advance and then the subfolder is start and I'm going to copy this. So this is a standard truffle project and we have a simple smart contract, simple storage. So that's basically the same one that we used in previous videos. So here we have an integer variable and we have a function to change the value of this variable. And this time we also define an event that will be emitted when the set function is called. So this event has two fields. So one is the updated value of stored data and the other one is the current timestamp. And so in our DAP, we're going to capture this event. All right. So let's go inside the folder of the front end. So that's in the VAP directory. So this is a standard view project and all the interesting code is inside the SRC directory. So let's inspect the option. The drizzle option is the file that we use to configure drizzle. And when we want to capture some event from a smart contract, beside the usual configuration for the smart contract, we also need to define another key called events. And then we define a sub key with the name of the smart contract, so simple storage. And finally, this is going to receive an array of all the events that we want to track. So in our case, we just want to track one event called data change. All right, so, and a comma here. So that's all we need in Drizzle option in order to track this event. So next, let's check the main.js file. So this is where we bootstrap our Vue application and also where we initialize our Vue plugin for Drizzle. The plugin initialization is exactly the same as what we did in the last two videos. So please refer to these two videos if you want to understand how it works. Next, let's have a look at the app.vue file. So that's our main component. So in this main component, first we make sure that Drizzle is initialized and after we use the built-in component of the Drizzle view plugin, so Drizzle account to show us the list of accounts, Drizzle contract to read the value of the stored data function, and Drizzle contract form to be able to call the set function that changes the value of our variable in our smart contract. On top of these three components, we're going to use a new component, which will be a custom component, that will show a pop-up every time we capture an event coming from the smart contract. And we're going to call this component toast. So just below drizzle contract form, let's render our toast component. Okay, and let's scroll down and we are going to import this component in our JavaScript section. So import toast from toast. Below in the exported object, we will also add it to the components. All right, so let's define an object and we're gonna add toast here. So this way our app component knows how to render the toast component. So let's save this. And now it's time to create this toast component. So I'm gonna go back to the command line and I'm going to create this file. So in the SRC directory, I'm gonna create this toast.view component. And then I come back to my editor and then I open toast.view. Okay, so now it's empty. First, let's create the template section. And it's just going to render an empty section element. And next, let's create our script section for the JavaScript. 
And first we're going to import the virtual state plugin. So with this plugin, you can show a pop-up with any message that you want. And in our case, we're going to show the detail of the events that we capture from the smart contract. So let's import this plugin and we're going to call it toasted from view toasted. Okay, and we also need to initialize this plugin using the use method of view. And for this, we need to first import the view object from view. Okay, and after we use the use method and we pass it the toasted object. All right. And next, we need to connect events coming from our smart contract to our toasted plugin. So for this, we are going to define an object. So export default. And inside this object, we're going to use the mounted hook of view. So this hook will be executed when the component mount on the DOM. It's a little bit like the component did mount method in React. So mounted. And in order to connect to the incoming events from the smart contract, we're going to use the drizzle events object that was added by the drizzle view plugin. So this and after dollar drizzle event. So this is available on every view component because we initialize the drizzle view plugin. And this object has a method called dollar on. And this on method works exactly the same as when you use add event ender to capture DOM event, but in this case, we're going to capture smart contract event. And so we don't specify the name of the event that we want to capture, but instead we specify a generic name to capture all the events. So drizzle contract event, and it's going to take a callback as a second argument, and it's going to receive a payload argument. This payload object will have some metadata about the event and also the actual data of the event. So let's define a function. And we're going to execute another function that we'll define just above. And we're going to call this function contract event handler. And we're going to pass it the payload. Okay, so now let's define this function just above. So const contract event handler. And this is going to receive the payload and we'll be able to destructure a couple of interesting objects inside the payload. So first we have the contract name where the event happened. Then we have the event name and then we have the actual data of the event. Okay. And so that's inside this contract handler that we're going to actually trigger our toasted plugin. As a side note, if you want to filter which event you want to react to, then you're going to need to add an if statement. So here you're going to do if event name equal blah, blah, blah. And only then you trigger your execution. In our case, because we only set up one event in Drizzle option, we don't need to do this because we know for sure that it's going to be the event we're interested in. So let's get rid of this. Next, let's define the string that we want to display in the pop-up. So we're going to define a variable called display for that. And let's use ES6 template literal. So first, we're going to display the contract name, then the event name, and then finally the data. So data.new value, that's the first field of our event. And second, we have data.date. All right, so let's close the template literal. And we're also going to define an option object for our pop-up. So we're going to call this sub option. And we're going to define a duration of three seconds. So the pop-up will be displayed for three seconds. And after, it will disappear. And next, we're going to trigger the pop-up. So this dot dollar toasted. So the reason why we have access to this object is because we've initialized the toasted plugin when we did view use toasted here. And this object has a method called show. And we, as a first argument of show, we're going to pass what we want to display. So display and second, the sub option object. So this is all defined in the documentation of the view toasted plugin. All right, and that's pretty much it.
Okay, so now time to test if everything's work fine. So we need to deploy our smart contract and run the front end. So create a new terminal window and at the root of the project, create a Truffle Develop Console and then deploy your smart contract with the migrate reset command. Okay. And then open another terminal window and you're going to go into the front end of your DAP, so the VAP directory. And you need to install the dependency with npm install. So I've already done it, so no need to do it again. And after that, you need to run the front end with npm run serve. All right, so our server is running. Okay, so now go to your browser at localhost 8080. And you should see what I see. And we are going to check that everything works fine. So we are going to call the set function of our smart contract and it's going to change the store data variable. So let's put an integer in our input field, for example, 10. And let's click on submit. And we are expecting to see the value just above change, but also we are supposed to see a pop-up. And this pop-up will be triggered by the event of our smart contract. And here we go. So we see the value has changed. And just before, we saw that pop up with the information of the event. So everything works fine. That's the last video of this series on how to build Ethereum DApp with Vue. If you haven't watched the previous video of this series, go check them out. And that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.